Yeah. Alright guys, welcome to this week's episode. We're going to start off with uh, a reaction to the Community Shield as that's just finished. Um, how are we all doing today? Yeah, alright. Yeah. yeah, good mate. Yeah, not bad, thank you. Yeah, another dream, innit? Um, that's possibly the worst penalty shootout I've seen, but we'll just go for that. Um, and then we're possibly going to be filling in with uh, a goalkeeper and centre-back selection for the Premier League era, following our striker. What do we think of the game? Okay. <laughs> I'll go first. And, uh, we got very lucky. I think the game as a whole, it was just a test as to see where we actually were. And if if anybody had seen our pre-season, it's a big step up from performance-wise of what we were like to today. But you could just tell City weren't uh, on the pace either. Like, I don't know if they odd. just think... Both Sorry? teams are odd. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's easy to say that City didn't have some players on and stuff. I mean, Erlen Haaland, it's not the fact that Saliba or Gabriel shut him out. It was the fact that he just had a very poor game. He didn't really get anything. Well, um, I, meant more, I meant more the fact that uh, Julian Alvarez was playing centre mid. Mm -hmm. I don't like how you're setting up. I don't like that midfield of Ray, Sodergaard and Party. That just doesn't look functional. Um, 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 I don't know. I th I do like it, to be honest. I think it's very odd where you've got Rice and Party together. But I think it'll just take time to actually get normal. I think what we're actually lacking, I think what the game actually showed, is just a striker that can actually put goals away. Yeah. Like, Havertz had two clean chances and he should have scored. The second one definitely should have. He just aimed it right at the keeper and he saved it. But I don't think he rather saved. I think he rather just got in the way of it rather than it being saved. Um, yeah. I think it was but, a game overall, though. It felt like a pre-season game, proper pre-season game. I, well, I think we were three minutes away of actually saying it was a pre-season and didn't mean anything until the goal went in. Um, and then it changed everybody's minds because everybody will be reacting as if it's uh, the Champions League of pre-season. Oh, you, um, you take a trophy any day of the week, though. Oh, no, um, absolutely. But if we, I was saying if we, if we weren't going to win it, it was just, oh, it didn't matter. They were, they were shite. I don't think either team played well. After watching it, it first half was like it was bang average. I think both teams were just a bit lacklustre. There wasn't really anything to it. Second half was at least more fun to watch. But I think, you, like you said, you had two decent chances that Havertz just couldn't finish. Palmer he's could have got a second goal. He's in the right goal. area, didn't it? He's in the right area. He just can't seem to uh, last pro end product. Seems finish. to be. Yeah. It's like as well, I don't know if you saw it a couple of times in the second half, I think it's the second half, where he's ran through and it's like, as soon as he gets the ball, he goes from being semi-quick to just being slow as anything. Yeah, it's like he's running in sand. It's like he yeah. know, a few times the ball was stuck behind him, though. It's like he doesn't know what to do. Yeah, I've said this to Ben, actually. A couple of the passes are completely off. It's like, it's like it's like he doesn't know what to do with it. Sorry, Michael. That that pass what went through and he, yeah. and he, and he got it, and he, it was when he injured uh, Diaz. He took one touch and it was like, well... Yeah. He just ran into him. He didn't know where to go, what to do with the ball. And and all honestly, I think he was dreadful. Eh? Uh, like they two missed opportunities. That second one's that that that's a stonewaller goal. It should be. Um yeah, and I, yeah, I, honestly, I was shit. He was so shit to watch. Um but I the setup of both teams was a bit it was a bit fucking strange. Like I don't I do not like it's odd, wasn't it? I don't yeah, like but... party and rice next to each other. I don't know what it is. And I don't like. See, I, I think it. that's a weird one. I, I, Rice looks Rice looks like a fish out of water. How high he was up. I didn't like Alvarez in midfield either. It just didn't suit. Nah, nah, nah. I think um, the most exciting. I think part the biggest subs, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. Well, I was going to say probably the biggest talking point is the conduct rules, isn't it? Yeah. Is the change of the is the conduct rules actually being followed? Um, I've got a con uh, not a controversial opinion. I think Arteta should have been sent off in the first half. He got a yellow card and he's had another go. Mm -hmm. He's got a warning. Why, why are you giving warnings? No, nah, just do it. PJL mm -hmm. strictly come out and said they aren't giving warnings. Just, just, just do it. No, nah. just get well, him, just I, get him off. I don't want to jump in. I actually do agree with you. Personally, I, just, I think if they're sticking with what they said in the in the week of the rules and stuff, I don't know if anybody picked up on it. I did in the replay. But Arteta had um 
one of the assistants. Yeah, you know, the goal. I don't know if it's a fact that one had gone through and it was that was what happened, yeah. but they were both in the box at one time. Don't know if I was just celebrating or what, but yeah, I think Arteta. I think it's just new. I think I think he got the yellow and he was sort of like, all right. But as Lee Dixon say, if the yellows and reds are now being carried off, uh, carried over to next week. It's just a free for all, so it doesn't actually matter who gets booked and who doesn't. Yeah, it's good seeing the kick away think... rule pollard as well mm, for yeah. both teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, I think... for both of yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we spoke about this, didn't we? That Julian Alvarez one where he where he, he back the ball away was Bernardo Silva. Was Bernardo Silva? No, no, you're right. It's Alvarez. Uh, I, was was it. Alvarez, I, yeah. I, I didn't agree with it until Sam Matterface in the commentary when they have been told to leave the ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've been told to leave the ball, then fine. I'm alright with yeah. it. Yeah, give him a yellow. I'm alright with that. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Um, another thing as well. How did how did uh, Rodri not get carded? I think did he not? He didn't get a yellow the whole game, no. did he? No. Oh, for young. Ah, uh, yeah. There was one where he had... he's yanked. Uh, I think it was party. He's like taking party's head off. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the referees just went, yeah, all right, it doesn't matter. Game, I mean, yeah, we weren't going to go and score, but we were on the counter. Like, it's, it's, it's stopping, it's breaking up game of play. Yeah, you have to book them. It's, a professional it's ball, just it? what we've grown up with. What did you, exactly. what did you think of the Havertz yellow, where he's just kicked out? At, um, or was it De Bruyne? It was off the ball. It's when he got a yellow card. It was to stop a counter yeah, just as well. Yeah, that's another thing as well. Roger, There's a yellow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, just yeah. to make sure. Um, the goal, might as well go for the City goal first because it was an absolute banger, by the way, from Palmer. Who's at fault for that? Party. Or was it just a movement or...? Nah, I think I think the, the turn mm. of the party was disgusting. Like, um, And then, obviously, Palmer sat to only done, which was nice to see. Um, I, I think it was just good play. In all honesty, I think City that that turn opened so, up on the field, and it just it was good play. So I, I think, think Ramsdale. Uh, so I think when he's gone past Party, he's had a thirty-yard run, and Declan Rice has come over very pedestrian. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, you clatter him, you put two feet through him, Aye. and concede the foul. Yeah, there's no one in that area. There's no one in that area. And Rice has just let him get the ball away over to the right wing. Mm-hmm. I, I I actually will put partial blame on Ramsdale. He couldn't have sort his feet. I mean, he was nowhere near the ball. And I, I think, yeah, he probably knew the ball was going in the back of the net when it, when it left Palmer's foot. But his feet, he did. Nor like Ederson and like, um, De Gea, they take an, an, extra ta- an extra step. To cover ground in the goal, Ramsdale just doesn't. He takes one small stutter step and then jumps, and he's never near it. It looked like a Pickford moment there, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He had the arms like a T Rex. Yeah. yeah. Doing that though, he he fucking I mean, after my save, but uh, uh, with a corner came in and Rodri uh, diving headed it front post. That was an unreal save. Beautiful. Yeah. Head on. Oh. Good perception as well, when not seeing him but, making the the, the near post run? Yep. Really should he have been there though? Like as a goalkeeper, you know you should normally be on your line and like going for the ball. I think he, he was a caught in two minds of I I'll go and get the cross and then got back in position. But I think if he was already in position, it wouldn't be as a good a save as what it actually looked on TV. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he likes them though, doesn't he? He likes to jump up in the air and the hand down and the still pictures. Yeah, yeah. And he's a camera. He's a camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Who was it? I think it was, was it Alvarez. It put the ball through and it went through Ramsdale's leg and it's hit his heel and it's bounced away. And I think it's Lee Dixon goes, oh, well done. He's got his left heel in the way of that. And then in the replay, it just yeah. hit him. Like, it yeah. went past him, it just happened to his foot. It's not a good save, it just happened to be there. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to lie, I thought it was a bit of a snooze fest. But, it, it, I mean, it has a couple of bits in it. I, as I said, I, the conduct was a big thing for me, actually. I'd love to see the descent. I think Trossard is actually for playing out. If I'm honest. Yeah, he's a weird one for Arsenal, though, isn't he? Because I don't think, like, don't wrong, he's a good player, but I don't think anyone thought they'd he'd change Arsenal up when they signed no. him. No. 
But he's done all right, isn't he? Martin Eddie was fucking quiet. Mm. Uh, he's been Trossard been brilliant preseason. I think like, I think Kirk was really Trossard. good. I'm, I'm excited for him. Trossard's like that. Uh, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. It's it's one of those because he is he's a good player, but then he has his fucking shocker days. But it'll be interesting to see what he's like next season. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll go. Trossard's a weird one though. I think you're right. When he has a poor game, it's like the whole team has a poor game. And it's not just because of him. But when he's not firing, there's no chances going into the box. There's no dribbles. There's no nothing. Same with Martinelli. Same with Saka. Same with almost everyone. But if he can continue what he was like coming off the bench in pre-season and today, it'll be exciting. And I think he... He might need to start in front of Martinelli. How much did your heart sink when he put your game on? Oh, I was <laughs> saying a few choice words at that. Um, I was more confused that they're taking Gabriel off and bringing Smith Rowe on. I mean, that one didn't really make an awful lot of sense at the time. But I mean, it's worked out, so it doesn't really matter now, does yeah, it? Yeah, I was going to say. These were just throwing it at them, I think. That's why he took the yeah. defender off. You were yeah. lucky. Um, aye, 100%. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Like, we'll all go, like, I was just watching Ramsdale pre, uh, but after match interview, and he was saying um, how the mental block is gone now, we finally beat them. But then in the end of the day, you have to look at it and go, you scraped the 1-1 draw out of a poor game, and you won it on penalties, which De Bruyne, I don't know what he was doing with his penalty, and Rodri just sort of shit the bed. But... <laughs> He's I just say a trophy's a trophy, but I wouldn't take too much out of the game to be honest. The big question is: Does it answer any questions you had about Arsenal? Does it change your predictions? Anyone? Not in the slightest. Uh, I, I'd like I'd like to change mine from fourth to twentieth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, to change it. I think it'll be a lot closer than what I thought. Yeah. What the season? Yeah. I was expecting City to kind of run away with it and be like 15, 20 points in it. But I think after that, when you when you see some of the teams in pre-season and some teams that have come up, you expect the three points and it should be a lot closer. But everyone needs to perform. Like, it can't be the fact that when party last year dropped off, we shit the bed. Can't be the same with Declan Rice goes to sleep and then it's score a goal. Declan Rice, I wasn't surprised that he went off. I thought he was bang average. Mm-hmm. I don't think he showed anything out of this world. I think the only thing you kind of remember him for is the. I think he, he put a tackle on against Rodri and the shot that ballooned. That's the only thing I can kind of remember. I can't doing. remember him touching the ball in the first 35 minutes. In all honesty. I, rem- I watched yeah. the shot and the shot was a bit. He's hit it, and it's very reminiscent of him being at West Ham. I want to drag the ball forward. He hits it, and he goes to Rose Ed. It was a bit of a yeah. But you get, but I, I suppose if he's been told to get forward more, he's going to get more shots on goal, isn't he? So we'll see if he actually manages to bang any of them in or more shots, in more goals. Season, ben, he's been going shots, down the wing. Like he's not, he's not been playing on the wing, but he's been like an overlapping, an overlapping player. And he's actually yeah. been pretty good at whipping the balls in. <laughs> I, if you could get him to do what Foden yeah. did, where he, where when he goes for a run, he drags the entire team up, you'll be laughing. But that was unbelievable. He's amazing. I said what I was going to say. That's what Foden does. Oh, it was just, it was just, it, that was probably the best play of the game, I think. When Foden got the ball and he just went for it. Because you just see the every shirt in blue just went up. He doesn't seem to. I've got, well, I've got a question for you three. Go on, then. Should Cole Palmer have got man in match? He was the biggest change to the game. So, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think he was on long enough. Yeah, he scored the goal and it was a brilliant goal. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. But I don't I, I don't think he was on long enough to have man of the match, to be honest. But then he's... Man of the moment? Yes, absolutely. But he's came on and scored that goal that the game needed. So I can see why. I can see uh, why he was giving it, but I don't think he should have. 
I, I don't uh, know who. If you ask me who, I think it should have yeah, been given. Yeah, I was going to say, know. I think it's very much all of them got about 6.5 out of 10, didn't they? That's the thing. It's like, I, I, it, it, what, it was a bang average for everybody, yeah. Stands out to I think it, you can maybe... I, I, well, you've probably got Ortega there for the first <laughs> half, can you? What did he get? Three saves? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe De Bruyne, maybe... I don't know. Maybe Foden. There wasn't any outlier, is the problem. They were all, they were all kind of bang... <laughs> I don't want to troll over it, but they're all kind of bang average. Oh, yeah, I think I agree with Ben, though. The subs that came on were the best players. Yeah. Except for a goal, well, yeah. Ortega. Like, I mean... Arnold looked dead. Arnold just didn't look interested. No. Yeah, I think I heard they said that's his sixth game in a row that he's, he's failed to score. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. He's still going to bag 40 next year or something. Yeah, exactly. Um, he doesn't take that long again. He didn't score in the last Community Shield. More than Hoyland, yeah. Yeah. He's, mate, honestly, I put my ass on it. I think everybody should. Past 10. <laughs> no one expects Boylan to score anywhere near what the Bruyne, uh, what the uh, Harlem does. Danny Ings is getting more goals than him. <laughs> I'm too hard. Oh, goals and I'm fuck as fuck. Hoyland. Not Hoyland. No, ho- <laughs> Hoy- Hoy- Hoyland. <laughs> Not Harland. Danny Ings. He's going to have a job in the relegation more battles. Goals. We don't have another striker, so he has to score more goals. Mm. We don't have another one now. Yeah, I think we can get rid of the other yeah, Italian yeah. stallions, so that's fine. Plus, already they like his mm. haircut, so he can fuck off. Who? <laughs> 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 uh, mate, when he got released yesterday at yeah. Old Trafford, like, he, do you see him fist pump the Red Devil, too? Can I mean, say, come on. No. No. And then he went to... I didn't watch it. Went to centre-half, and then his two fucking goalie gets chipped for the halfway line. It's just Man United all over, mate. Bag of shite. I'm, I'm the Andy Alcee makes him out miss. <laughs> Aye. No. Yeah. He's literally been squared, like, Garnacho's, like, taking everybody out of the game, and he's squared it, and he's, like... I don't know what he's done. He's, he's kicked the way he's standing foot. Like, yeah. he's swung it. And it's missed the ball completely and just hit his standing foot and bounced away. How and it was worse than Torres's one. Like, Torres has missed at uh, Stamford Bridge. Like, that was bad. But this one was worse. Right, so... Any other comments about the Community Shield? Because I want to get to the exciting bit. Because this was an absolute lose first. Not really, mate, no. I just want to comment on Arsenal Fan TV. He said we're going to get six trophies this year. We've already got one. Just waiting on the other five. Let's do oh, it. Have a day off. No, you got two. You've got two, you got the Emirates Cup as well. Newcastle got... Oh, yeah. Newcastle. Good that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm happy. Absolutely. I think you all need to accept the fact that West Ham are going to be doing the most important job this year and holding the table up from 20th. No, that's not true. Luton's done that. No, 19th. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, 19th. Yeah, fuck, fuck Luton. Just, yeah. Hey, right, and that's, that's actually plenty of you, mate, as well. Right? <laughs> you shit. Money. You want a trophy of the day, so you can't um, call. <laughs> you know what? We want a trophy of the day. Who did you beat? Who did you uh, beat? So we beat Fiorentina 2 0 yesterday in Villarreal 4 0 the day, and we won the Sella Cup. <laughs> the what cup? Oh, the Sella. Oh, it's their new sponsor. Our new sponsor. That's what it is. Oh, fuck off. It doesn't count if you win your own cup. It does. We had it. I don't think we've ever won ours. <laughs> it's all pain. It's just all pain. Our first year of the Betway Cup, they decided to give it to Juventus because they spanked us at like 4-0. <sighs> um, yeah, don't. Oh, just I didn't even know you had a cup. Yeah, no, yeah. There's a, the infamous Betway Cup. I don't think we've ever won it. That, mu- that very prestigious trophy. I'm pretty sure we lost it the other day. That was the Leverkusen game, I think. 4-0. No. I think that was the Betway Cup. Oh, just, hey, just, just slightly 4-0. Right. <laughs> West Ham's post was at half-time. Go in, de- uh, go in at half-time, down. No, we got spanked, mate. 3-0. <laughs> We got absolute hate fucked. At least there's horrible. a bonus. There's a positive out of it. It was only 1 0 in the second half. We got fucked 4 0 off by a Leverkusen. <laughs> in our own cup. That's not a positive. <laughs> I was trying to pick one. I was trying to make you feel better. It's all right. So we might as well cover it. Is there any chance I know you're going to quickly go over before yeah. we go into the bulky court? I know we, we look at signing a player, but I'll let everyone else get their excitement away first. So. Uh, I know, I know. We're anyway. we're gonna announce our third signing this week, um. So it should be interesting. Um, I think 
Is it Kylian Mbappe? It is. No, it's uh, Livermore. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I wouldn't take, I wouldn't um, take turtle. I don't like him. <laughs> we are, we are going in for David Dry. Apparently, he's going to sign in. Well, apparently within twenty four hours, if you're to believe certain Arsenal fans. Um, but then Mark Turner's going to Nottingham Forest, which I, I don't know if that's a loan or what. But I don't know if I agree with that or not. And we are signing Edson Alvarez. We're making a move, lads. Forty million. I've never watched the geezer play. I watched Ajax a bit last year, but I've never watched him play. I've actually, I've actually looked up his YouTube clips, and I hate doing that when I when we get linked with a player. But it just has to be done, doesn't it? And you're losing Skip Walker. Yeah. Ah, right, well, you know, we don't need a striker. He, he doesn't like playing with one anyway. So yeah, exactly. Do you, do you think he'll I mean? bring somebody in? No, or do you no, think no, no. no. I think we'll, we're, we're going to. Uh, I think. I think. He doesn't fancy Ariola in between the sticks. I think we'll play him up front. <laughs> no, we're going to bring Craig Bellamy out of retirement. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Andy Carroll, what are you doing, mate? No, <laughs> like, no, I, no, I don't think we'll sign another striker. Kind of, we're looking at our options, but I mean, you're running out of time for your options. Well, that's Zach Elias. We've got a month for him, mate. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got no, he ain't coming down. His wages are too high, apparently. If Ariola's right. signing for City. Yeah, mm-hmm. brilliant, isn't he? He's unbelievable. I think that just, it just makes them more title, con- not even title contenders. May as well just hand it to them now. Like, they're so good. Oh, there we go. We'll get like, the port and we'll put him up front. Oh, very good. Oh, why is he up front? <laughs> I, no, I'll tell you what, Kevin Nolan's on the bench. Get him fucking, get him a kit on. Get him up front. Put him in front of the fucking train. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Right, we might as well go through it. So, we want to do the all-time Premier League goalkeeper. Now, we've done the striker. Didn't agree on that. We're probably not going to agree on the goalkeeper here. Who wants to go first? I'll go, I'll go first. I'll uh, go, before go. go on. Oh, this, this will be a shock. Go on, mate. He's yours. Uh, Petr Cech. Oh. For best goalkeeper. Oh, I didn't see that one. All right. That, that is a shock. All right. Why? I think in his Chelsea days... He was just phenomenal. Um, he had he had it all, even before his injury. I mean, I think I think like post injury, I think he became better <laughs> with a with a cap on. But I think he had it all. Like his his camera saves, his his uh, ball stop, like with his feet, he was good with his feet. He was just he was just quality. He was demanding of the box. I mean, his height helped. He was. He really pissed huge. me off. Yeah. Because I che- I've got check as well, but I thought you'd pick Shay so Given. I've actually I've actually got a pa- I've actually got a page on Shay Given of why he's not as good as Petr Cech. <laughs> Genuinely. Nah, honestly, Petr, I think Petr Cech so, the best ever in the Premier League. Like, unbelievable. I'll agree with you, and I'll just extend that even further, right? Because I don't know, I don't think Ben's gonna pick Petr Cech. Ben, are you picking Petr Cech as well? So, uh, yeah, well, yeah, he's gonna be. You can't do this. So well, what I'll do then is I I had an honourable mention that I was gonna pick. As in, if that was going to be like a sideline one, if it isn't Petr Cech, it's, it's probably going to have to be Edwin Van der Sar. Uh, he was an honourable because uh, as much as I hate United and they cause so much misery during my childhood with how much they won, that boy between the sticks was unbelievable. He just it, it, every time you go there, you just weren't sure you were actually going to get a goal. Like he was just absolute class. I'll I'll do my honourable mention because I had Czech as well. Mind is another Man United keeper, but it's Peter Schmeichel. Oh, I hate Schmeichel. I think oh, he was good. He was good. I think I, do, I think he was really good for for it, for his for his time period. He was the best. Yeah. So I thought I thought I thought uh, Matty was going to pick Shay Gibbon. I thought Gavin was going to pick Almunia. No, <laughs> what he's like. And I thought Ben was going to pick someone like I don't know Stephen Bywater or saying <laughs> I should shag at his slot. Yaska Lyman. Hmm. Jersey Dudek. Yeah, uh, oh, Jersey uh, Dudek. I should have gone with Jersey Dudek. <laughs> my my honourable mention is Allison. I just think he's class. I think he's, if he's in the Premier League for another four or five years, I think you'd speak about him in the same light as you speak about Petr Cech. Mm-hmm. Um, just want to put down on Petr Cech because we've got a bit of stats here. What I was going to put over in Shea Given because I thought you'd bring up a Shea Given comment is he's the first goalkeeper to 100 clean sheets. He's got the most clean sheets. Yeah. I think, I think, I didn't actually check this, but I think if memory serves, 
he had the least amount of goals conceded against him in a single season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The overall sure, five year, I think he only had fifteen no, goals. Eight. Oh, I've went, I've went eight. And I think, I think he got twenty four clean sheets out of thirty eight, mm-hmm. something yeah. like that. I know he's got the record. Um, he was unreal. I agree with you. I think he's, yeah, I think he's all time. I don't think Peter Schmeichel even comes close to him. To be completely honest, I think he's head and shoulders above everyone else. Yeah, he's oh, no, I fully agree. I'm just saying that was my second yeah, choice. No, 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 yeah, I will, I will put in. I, I didn't realise how, how pivotal this would be since we're all agreeing for once, but. I'll put in a couple of names. Why not David De Gea? I just don't think he's up there. I think there's other players, other keepers that would get there before him for me. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I think even in a poor Czech season, he was a better keeper than De Gea. Jinx. Just yeah. that wise as well. He was, I think De Gea's too mistake prone. Yeah, and he's can, too everyone can say it's, it's the defence in front of him or what. At the end of the day, your job is to keep goals out. If they're going in, they're going in. Fair enough, he got the Golden Glove last year. But check if it was if check two thousand five to De Gea now, or even De Gea seven years ago, he still picked check. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Right. Uh, another one I've got on here is Shay Given. Why not Shay Given? Go on, Mike. I just think <laughs> don't get wrong. I do like Shay Given. Um. But I think, yeah, imagine I if think you betraying your own club. Eh? I mean, eh? imagine betraying your own club. Well, well, you, you never said the nipple. You know what I mean, um, <laughs> nah. I, I, I <laughs> like what you that? He was fucking. He was class, but when you're comparing it like best keeper in, in all in Premier League history, it, it is check. He just stands out above everyone else. Like he, he still holds the record for most clean sheets, and he's he's now been retired for what three four years. So there's been keepers coming in. Yeah. They just, they just can't keep up. It's mad. And the last one, since I've already mentioned Edison, Edison, are there, is he anywhere close? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, I think you're right. Yeah. He has to be because, like, for, to be a City goalkeeper, you have, to, you have to be a decent keeper, didn't you? And I think, like, other than, like, maybe the last two years, I think before then, I'd probably have rated him above Allison. But the last two years, I'd have to, if we were going on current Premier League goalkeepers, Alisson wins it for me for the last two mm-hmm. years. Whereas before that, Edison for me was top just, just because of how much he could play Which out with his feet. It's nuts when you think about it, because he's only won, when you, it's nuts when you think about it, because Alisson's only won one Premier League. Exactly. I say only won one Premier League, but you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Edison's won, what, five now? Four? Four? Five? Four? Just on the treble. But no, I agree with you. I think Alisson's, I think Alisson's better. I don't rate Edison as a shot stopper. I don't know that. Nah, he's a bull shot keeper. Really. Yeah, yeah, he's he's just a he's just an eleventh player on the pitch and he's an outfield player. Yeah. Um. But I th- I think you're right with what you were saying though. Another what three, four, possibly five years in the Premier League, you could be talking in the same conversation with Czech and Ederson. I think Allison um, and Edison will both be up there with Czech because mm-hmm, yeah. I think you have to. I think Czech wasn't brilliant with his feet playing out from the back. Mm. I don't think no, no. that was one of his only lacking areas. But back in no, back in those days, but back in those times, you didn't need that. Now it's pivotal. One person I'm surprised you have one touch and then punt it. Is Jens Lehmann? <laughs> Gavin. I mentioned Almunia. He's like the A Tech version of him, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Jens um, Lehmann. Where's the mention for Jens? Yeah. Like not even an honourable mention for like one of your most memorable. If keepers. I was gonna pick, if I was gonna pick one, it would be the the English one. It'd be David Seaman. If I had to, if I had to oh. pick any of them, it'd be Seaman. Okay. Big pony himself. <laughs> pony himself. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, since we're so agreeable on the goalkeepers, we'll go centre backs. Now we go are we doing we'll do two. Now they aren't a partnership, so you don't need to necessarily do a partnership. But two centre backs that we are eventually gonna get put this team out by so I've, I've noted this Dan. So just to put it out there. I'll let who went first last time? Gav, uh, Matt, it was you, wasn't it? Go on. Centre back, son. Uh, first one, uh, Vidic. Uh, He's going to be boring as well, isn't it? Go uh, on. I, I, I mean, I can't stand United, but I kind of slag him off for having him as a defender. Like He was absolutely phenomenal. Um, Probably in one of the best partnerships, centre back partnerships uh, in Premier League history. My second yeah. one isn't Rio. Rio's amazing, but it's not my second choice. But I think uh, Vidic was in one of the best partnerships I've seen. And plus, he celebrated in front of Sunderland fans, which I absolutely love. So. <laughs> second, 
Was he? Could I ask? Did you, was, was he? Sorry, was Vidic better than Rio in your in your opinion? Yes. I think he, I think he as as. No, I, I agree with you. I I, I, I agree. With I you. think he was better, and the fact that they two were dual together made Rio come up. Like they th- that partnership was yeah. unbelievable. Um, but now my, my yeah, second yeah. is uh, big John Shagger Terry. <laughs> Why is that? Because uh, he shags misses. Uh, nah, basically, just aye. Ag- again, he was an unreal centre back. Um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I can't really say anything else. He was he was top shit, top shit, shit hot. His uh, his personality is a bit questionable. Right. And his, his ethics, he's, but... he's a fucking prick. Like, but he can defend the ball. That's the title now. He's a prick, but he can defend the ball. <laughs> Rose edit. That's what it is. Right, go on, Ben. Might as well. Uh, so the the irony is uh, my picks are the same as Matty's. I picked Vidic and Terry <laughs> because Vidic is just unbelievable. He's probably the best. Well, probably one of the best centre backs I've seen at United or in the Prem, to be honest. Um, the tackling, the vision, the way he could win a ball, just unbelievable. <laughs> And Terry, it's, it's uh, for me, for someone who wasn't he's not that big, he wasn't as much as he tried, to, he didn't mind getting a bit dirty. He wasn't that physical, but the way the boy read the game was he had no pace to speak of. Like, I've, the, the, the pace that he didn't have was ridiculous. Like, he just didn't mm. move. But the way he could read the game, he didn't need to. And then you got yeah, checked yeah. behind you. So I think that also just. Yeah, I did. Uh, my honourable mention. And also, as well, sorry, j- 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 just to put on there about about Terry as well. He made Gary Cahill look world class. Uh, that geezer should get up every morning and pray to a picture of John Terry. Uh, exactly. I'm sorry. So did Wayne Bridges misses. Um, well, I did have a mon- since I got both the same. My honourable mention would have to be Yap Stam, but not because of how he played at United. So, obviously, when he went to United, he was one of the best centre-backs on the planet. He was also absolutely unreal for Milan. He was just dog shit when he played for United. So, that would probably be my honourable mention. All right, okay. Uh, Go on, Gav. If it ain't Perma or Saka, I'm going to be disappointed. (laughs) Well, you're going to be very, very (laughs) happy with this. Because it is Perma. No, it's not. Um, No, mine is John Terry. John Terry was number one for me. I know. I, I didn't we should, we should really, we should really discuss this. Like, <laughs> coming on here, treat it all right, pricks. Now, nah. go on. John Terry, he was so good on the pitch. Like just defending, like he was so vocal. Like when he was part, like whoever he was partnered with. Yeah, and you're right. He had Gary Cahill sat next to him for what I don't know how many seasons. I mean, I don't know what Cahill's like. Any when Cahill was shite. like shite, <laughs> down on me was shite. Like pick up your game, and he got him to do it. Like I think he was so, he was that captain on the pitch. I think everybody needed. Um, my second one, I did think Vidic too, but I'm not going Vidic. I am going with Tony Adams. Uh, I. This is better, right? Okay, cool. Yep, I'm on. going with Tony Adams because the way he was on the pitch, he commanded more with, for everybody. They matter who you were, they matter what position you played, you had to play a hundred percent every game. Doesn't matter what stadium, anywhere, any game, he was always the same. If you're playing shit, you're playing shit. If you should have done better, you should have done better. He was yeah. that player on the pitch. He was, I think he was fantastic. Well, so mine's John Terry and I think the only reason you're not going for Saul Campbell is because he's still fucking sliding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going for Campbell anyway. I'm surprised you didn't not. pick Sol Campbell actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. Or Martin Keown actually. I thought mm. Martin Keown might crop up as well. I was going to do Keown, but I think Tony Adams is better. Uh, Keown. No, no, I agree. I think Keown's just well. round neck though, isn't he? I mean, he's like a giraffe. <laughs> it's the fucking luxury. Sure, uh, have you got? Have you got? Have you got an honourable mention, Gavin? Me. That's, that's um, got vintage. Um, not really. <laughs> go on, Colatini. Go on. Sorry, Gav, you can say it. <laughs> Winston Reed. There we go. Matthew Upson, you heard it first. David Lewis. 
but I don't know why, and it's just coming to my head, and I don't know, don't know why. There's no reason for it, and you are not going to agree with this. I don't think I even agree with it. But Kashelny, I don't know why, but he comes in my head for some you reason. Don't fuck for one of the best centre backs in the Premier League. If, if I can't pick exactly. Vidic because these two, if these two picked Vidic because they're talking about work, it's not my fault. I mean, I was going to pick Vidic too, but they fucked that, so I went with Tony Adams. We've not, we've not Tony Adams, Adams, I'll take right. But Kishoni is mental. I said, I said I don't agree with that, <laughs> but it was the name I could think of, and it's the name I said. But, right, actually, so no, fuck Kishoni right. for his announcement when he went to Leon or wherever the fuck he went, and then he tamed the shirt off, prick. No him, he's a cunt, I don't have him. Right, okay, right. Well, my, my two, uh, one of them is John Terry. To be fair, though, I'm not going to slag anyone off for John Terry, actually, because I think he's pretty much the stalwart. Mm-hmm. I think he is, like, the one. I think if you ask, like, 100 people in the street who the best Premier League centre-back is, I think a good 90% of them would say John Terry. Yeah. My second one's Virgil van Dijk. Oh, no. I don't uh, agree. <laughs> I won't agree there. And, right, OK, I'll tell you why. Um, I think he has possibly had, since I've started watching football, he has possibly had the single biggest effect on a team. I think he transformed that Liverpool team from possibly 7th, 6th in the table to title contenders. I think the reason why they why they contended for so long, and they'll probably contend this year, is when a fully fit Virgil van Dijk's on the pitch. I actually think he's better than John Terry in his prime. Oof. No. I just, I, I, I think if he put, if he plays for Liverpool for maybe the next couple of years, then I think it's the same argument that Edison and Allison. He, he has to be put up there. I just, I like his physicality. I, yes, he can read the game really well. I don't think he's one of the best centre backs in the Premier yet. Not yet. Right. I actually, but to be fair, I prefer Diaz over Dick Van Dyke from City. I prefer. Yeah, but don't you, don't you prefer Company as well? I, I do fair. like Edison Company. I think he is, uh, it's because he's got the same size fucking forehead, cunt. I think, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, Van Dyke has struggled ever since his tearing his ACL. Since, yeah, since- yeah, 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 but I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not, I'm not holding that against him, yeah. personally, I'm just saying, I, I, I personally think, it, it, he's, he's had good appearances as well, but I think the, the, the difference that he's made to Liverpool is nuts. I think mm-hmm. in, in, what I mean is I think in 20, 30, 40 years you like Liverpool fans will remember Virgil van Dijk to a point. I think I think all all fans of yeah. the league will remember him as a as a yeah. top shit, a shit, top shit, a shit hot centre back. Um, my uh, my honourable mention is a uh, is a complete abstract one. Uh, not because he's amazing. Is it Koscielny too? You say, no, actually, no, you mate, you, I don't think you'll know who this is. If you say uh, Sammy Hippier. Who? Sammy Hippier. Mm. Uh, the only reason why, no, no, the only reason why is I think he costs less than, I think he costs less than one million. Yeah. And I genuinely think he was an amazing centre like for so long, like not well, not world class, but like a really decent centre back for what he was. I think he was like eight hundred k. Um, when he first was it, he was off. cheap as any. I'm, my honourable mention. I'm gonna go Sven Botman. <laughs> oh, shut up, you mug! <laughs> oh, Honestly. we had the joint best. That's it, Danny Gavagon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Evans. Cut. Oh no, no. Next we'll be saying Seamus Coleman. Mug. He's a fullback, but... I ate him. I What's don't care, much? I just ate him. <laughs> What's wrong with Seamus Coleman? He's just got a face he'd love to kick off a bridge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, sorry, anyway, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Sammy Hippie, I would mind, yeah. Yeah, I I'd, 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 he was good, because yeah, he's yeah. iconic, though, isn't he? Because it's the old-school Colesburg shirt, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, you're yeah. Talk, we're talking a fair oh, yeah. whack ago. Gav, you would have been a twinkle in your mum's eye, eh? Yeah, you would have been a swimmer. Yeah, but he must have... I don't know. Uh, so you're talking like 2004, like you're talking... No, maybe, no, maybe before then. 2003, I think. Yeah, well, that was years ago. Yeah, yeah it was... Uh, years it was, ago. We're talking... Uh, we're talking me... Well, I was a kid. So, yeah, there you go. 
Yeah. 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 It's a while ago now, like. So. <laughs> Kicking on 40. Um, uh-huh. I what, we've got a bit of time. I'd love to just get people's opinions on their first game for next week. Um, we've obviously got Bournemouth away, but I kind of want to go last, to be honest with you, because I'm not particularly positive about that. But I'll let I'll let Matty go first since he's clearly got the uh, he's clearly got the stage. How many are you winning by Matty? Since you're clearly not going to say you're going to lose. What on on Saturday the first game? Mm-hmm. Uh, one. I think you say eight one. No, no, I think we'll win by one. I think it'll be two one to us. Well, okay. so we, we've already oh, I... so our pre-season has been good like we are undefeated in the last 10 um, and we're undefeated in pre-season so we've already played Villa and we drew 3 all I mean they spanked the shit out of us though I'm not going to lie like they were shit yeah. and I think they, they, they just look unreal but I think first game of the season yeah. we're at home with the signings that are actually going to be starting like Tenali and um Barnes, I don't know. I think we'll get the edge, but I think it'll be two one us. I fucking hope it is anyway. Gavin, I think th- I, I, will, I will just want to touch on Matty's thing. I think we asked him Villa when I watched them play Brentford in the the summer series, whatever it's called. Going forward, they were they were really good, but they were so shite at defending when it came to counter attacks. So I think the way the Newcastle can actually get around them. Is getting counters and possibly just putting the pressure on them. So, so I'll, I'll um, add to you there, Gav, because when we drew three all, the, the, the them going forward was shit hot, but their defense was terrible. So I think that's why we were able to get yeah. in behind and score, obviously get the three back. But but going forward, midfield to forward, Villa looked class. Yeah, Diaby, you and Kiel score a bunch of goals this season. He looks he looks really good. Mm-hmm. Um. So we have Nottingham Forest half twelve kick off on Saturday. Um, Is it at Forest or at Arsenal? No, I think we're at home. Um, I reckon we will win three one. I think. Well, Nottingham Forest haven't actually got a. Who's their keeper? I've no idea. They they've not got um. What is it? They've not got Keylor Navas anymore. He was the, he's gone. They've not brought in um, Matt Turner. They've not brought in. They're still in talks. What's the Man United boy? I keep forgetting his name. They're still in talks with Henderson. Henderson. They've not brought Henderson in. Like I don't. Well, they've not. They're not going to have a. I don't think they'll bring a keeper in before then, mm. uh, unless they bring in Matt Turner. But I don't know if that's going to be a loan or not. I think that'll be a big factor. No one knows who their keeper is. I know they had um, Bamba. Or Sa- not Bamba, Samba um, in the championship. He's not there. I reckon 3 1. I reckon we'll just score a bunch of goals, kind of sit back a bit and just play around them. Um, Trossard will get one, I reckon. Um, and Katia yeah, yeah, to get a brace, probably. Mm. probably oh, God, a booty's getting this year, isn't he? Sorry? God, a booty's getting this year, isn't he? Who? Katia? Katia. He's a uh, pissed it. More than Hoyland. Um, don't know. There's been so much positivity, Ben. Do you want to kick off West Ham? <laughs> uh, I suppose, yeah, I might as well. Um, so, obviously, we've got Bournemouth. And, yeah, no. I've, it's away as well. Uh, I'll just put that in there as well. I'm not really well. that confident after the scene, too, we've had the last couple of friendlies. I, uh... I half expect us to turn up, Moyes play 10 at the back, and then us just get hounded for about 90 minutes um, with the one striker that we've got. I just, I don't see, I don't see it having a positive outcome. Um, I'd, I'd love us to turn up and slap them. I'd love to see Bowen get a good start to the season. Um, I'd like to see Corne get a start as well. Uh, Benny get a goal or two, just so we could start the season confident. But I'd just... I've not got a good feeling about Moyes this year. Um, with how bad we've been with <laughs> transfers and stuff like that, I just, I think, I think we should. Did have you have a got... good feeling about him last year? No, but the win- winning something at the end of the year kind of just made me think, right, just leave on a good note. Whereas now I'm sitting here going, I'm going to have to put up with this torture every fucking game of just his dog shit football, and it's just going to do me in. 
I'll further this, right? So I, I well, actually, no. What, what do you think the score will be? <sighs> uh, I think it will either be a boring nil-nil. No, we just, just, just. What do you think it will be? Two-one like, score prediction right now. You just said that struggle. I do think we struggle, <laughs> but I still, I would, I see us winning the game, but not, not by, not easily. That's what I said. It's either going to be a boring nil-nil or we will win two-one. Would be my, my uh, prediction. So you're going two-one West Ham. Just to press you for an answer. Uh, to go positive, yeah, go on, because I've been really negative. So we'll go 2 1 West Ham. Go on then. <laughs> well, I might as well flip it on the end. I think we'll lose 3 0. Well, fucking hell. Um, I, think the one thing, I think the one thing we looked at last year was at least solid at the back. I don't I actually think our defensive record was too bad. Um, we've lost our best holding midfielder and then decided that, oh no, we don't need a centre back either, even though Kurt Zuma's meant to fucking China. Um, yeah. And the only striker we look to be getting in after Skamaka's leaving is Dominic Solanke. So I think I'd rather get Matty to lace up his boots and let him play up front for us. I'd rather play up front. Um, I know. So no, I think 3 0. Well, I'll go 3 0 Bournemouth, which I'm not usually negative, but I'm just looking at our fixture list. And we've got Bournemouth, Chelsea, I think uh, Brighton, Luton, City, then Liverpool. Yep. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get. Win out of those first seven games, but think, you know, could be wrong. I don't want to play right um, now. What are you saying, mate? Sorry, I, th- I think you'll draw one all. Yeah, no. I just we ain't got a goal in us, mate. Who's scoring the goal? I was gonna say, I the think Grant for 2 0. The chef's gonna come in from behind the stadium and just fucking bang one in top bins and then run off. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what it's mental because you are the only team in the Prem not to make a sign in yet, and we're fucking what 50, 16, well, a bit more than that days away from the end of the window. So, I just are selling it's, it's, yeah. it's mental. Oh, yeah, and almost no. Well, we've got a 20 year old who's had a good pre season, so I mean, he'll bag 50, wouldn't he, this season? That's just how he always thinks, I think. But there it's we are, still better than Hoyle. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I've shit the bed now because eh, I've put in my predictions on our video that he won't get five to ten goals. And if he ends up scoring on the opening day of the season, I'm going to feel a bright cunt. Um, <laughs> but there we are. Um, I was looking at his highlights, funny enough, after making the video, and he, he actually doesn't look too bad, which is a bit annoying. I've seen, so, I've seen I a few of highlights, and he can uh, bang a ball. Like. Yeah, he's he nine goals in the last Sierra. Yeah. Yeah, he, he comes the ACL tear. There we go. He looks like uh, he looks like. I watched. He'll get two foot tees, knee cap, and his career will be ended. Close. Hey, that's till next May. There's always we win the bet, mate. It don't matter. <laughs> he's just a Danish Jake, yeah. remember Tuna? Yeah, you know I mean, he'll be in the changing room. <laughs> 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 I mean, he's got forty a year, boys. Completing it, mate. Aye. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, 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 well. When I score top bench, you shit down my arm. Yeah, you know I mean, it's it's how he's gonna go. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, just one of them. might as well wrap it up there. I want to, uh, I want to just put out there, um, if you've been watching along, uh, we've done predictions for the first episode. Um, we've unilaterally agreed that whoever gets the most wrong is wearing the right on top on the final pod of the season. Yeah, mate, he's shaking his head because he knows he's wearing a Sunderland top. Um, and it's selected by the other three people as well. So. Oh. I wonder what we we'll fucking get. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we thought we'd put that out there. So if you've got a shirt choice of any of us, obviously us for West Ham. So it's Ben, Arsenal for Gav. You can't tell because he always wears a fucking Arsenal top to the pod. And Matty, where uh, he's a Newcastle fan. So I mean, just uh, come up with some suggestions. We'll probably do something at the top. As if it's not I think... enough already supporting West Ham, then you're gonna well, make a rival I shirt. Names re- I think a names required as well. <laughs> and I think you need to show the top off for the no, final episode. Nah, nah, you can fuck off. Do you know what I mean? If you <laughs> nah, no like, names. Listen, <laughs> nah, listen. If you cunts get Lee Cottermole on the back of that fucking Sunderland top, I swear to fuck. <laughs> Please It'll like Jack Oh no, I'm gonna get Gooch. I want you to wear a top that says Gooch on the back of it. Mate, That's it's gonna it be a United shirt right. for Gab with Robin Van Persie on the back. Oh, Gooch tattooed on my fucking oh, yeah. forehead. I bet. No. <laughs> no, no, no. He's already got his ideas. Don't put more into his head. But yeah, that's the idea. Fucking eat shit. The, uh, for the last uh, last part of the season, that well in the in the future. 
Um, your reaction next uh, next Monday, which will come out next Monday. Sorry about the first game week. Um, me and Ben will probably be not very happy, but I would think Gavin and Matty will stay. Actually, look like they're decent this year. Yep. Enjoy your first. Um, enjoy your first bit of silverware, Gav, this season. I think it'll be your last son. But there we are. Um, <laughs> No, we're uh, two. As AFT said, AFTV said, we're going for six. I was going to say DT wouldn't have said it, would he? Absolutely um, not. It was, it, it was the boy, um, I think his name is James. I was say his name is, his name is James. Oh, is it that? Yeah, it's that the helmet, isn't it? Smoking crap, yeah. um, the, one, the one that's got the specs on. Yeah, yeah, the, the one who was going to go at the Etihad last year and you ain't beat him in seven years. We just go there and chance of 4-0, fuck it. Yeah, easily. <laughs> that's the one. Oh, just make us believe in it. Right, lads, if you enjoyed the episode, just like, please subscribe, because then we can have a smile. There you go, and you smile. Thank you very much for watching, lads. Cheers. See you later. See you later. Cheers. See ya.